Hey everybody, welcome here to another edition of Hometown Highlights. The regular season winding down just about a week and a half away now from district playoffs, and that means conference titles are on the line. Now in the Northwest Conference, Benzie Central and Sutton's Bay in a dogfight for the title. Both trying to keep pace with each other tonight in key Northwest Conference showdowns. Heading in, Benzie a game up on Glen Lake. The Huskies at Sutton's Bay. Norseman had a first place tie with Benzie last week, but dropped two games this week. They're doing the YMCA, and Greg Banks is doing his thing, driving the lane early in the third quarter here. Sutton's Bay down four, though. Guy Boshinaw, I think if you're a man, a good name to have is Guy. I like that. Solid name. He gets the J off the heel there. That comes Benzie, though. Nathan Warren. Drive and they are up seven. Connor Stapleton having a great senior season is going to knock down the corner three. Game high 25 for him. Benzi wins it 60 to 51. The final there. Let's go to Glen Lake. They were hosting Kingsley tonight. Love the pants. Love that shot from Mark Chalette there before the game early on. Stags up early. Deion Harrison makes it a four point lead. Then Dylan Bott getting out and getting the layup up and in. 88 to two, or I should say eight to two at that point. But here comes Glenn Lake. Michael Bryan, what a night he had. Two of his 30, the Lakers had 43 points total. He had 30 of those. It was a tight game throughout. Thanks to O'Brien, he's gonna knock down another triple here. They win it 43 to 42, the final there. Well, in the Lake Michigan Conference, St. Francis, Traverse City St. Francis, bounced back from a loss last week to Grayling with a big win over East Jordan. Now, their superstar, Sean Sheldon, he had a big night, went over 1,000 career points in the GLAD 75-36 to victory. Certainly a big accomplishment there. An even bigger accomplishment. Mm. Check out this sign. Whoa. I saw this sign oh, I at Kalkaska. Giacomo, nice. seven and four. Clearly Very they nice. wanted you and not me to be shooting this one. <laughs> Sorry, folks, I was there. Elk Rapids, Lizzie and Casca, boy girl doubleheader. Spencer and Pilizari keeps the offense rolling there with the land. And then later on, Austin McMullen. Nice pass inside to Miguel Alvarado. Later on, though, Nate Cummings for the Blazers gets the offense going, kind of takes it himself off the dribble. Gets the 18-footer to go, but the Elks, they're the ones that walk away. The road winners in this one. Final score, 64 to 33. A couple future Lady Blazers potentially in the making in this one. Caught my attention right before the girls game. Current Lady Elk, Megan Grigorski, hits a corner three here in the third quarter. Makes it 30 to 24. Kalkaska up by six. Allison Hendricks then connects with Jamie Moss for the Blazers. Nice little shot, or shot from the jaw, elbow there. Kelly Guy then with a nice steal. She's number four. You'll pick her up here because she's going to run all the way down the court. 27 points on the night for Guy. Great move there. Elks keeping it close, though. Alex Dart is going to get the ball down low. Good passing there. Leads to good scoring. Guy, though, is going to have another impressive layup. Here she is in the corner of your screen, slicing and dicing like she's making a pizza, but no, it's just a simple glass layup. Then Hendricks to Sophie Ministrina right into your living room. Good passing, good scoring all the way around. Lady Blazers, they force the, force the split for the series tonight with a 56-40 to 40 win. I got to say thanks to well, everybody at Kalkaska. That's, that's flattering. That's very nice. Thanks, guys. Fair State, the country's top-ranked college hockey team, returning to action tonight. The Bulldogs hosting Bowling Green, the last place team in the CCHA, in Big Rapids for the first of a two-game series. Ferris, the longest curring winning streak in the nation. They are unbeaten in their last 12 games and 9-0-3 in 2012. Haven't lost in this calendar year in oh, the, the student section in Big Rapids. Amped for this one. First period. Show us some glove. Taylor Nelson. Look at that snap save with the glove there. Keeps it a scoreless hockey game in the first. Let's move ahead to the second period. Matthew Terzinger is going to end up with the puck here on some beautiful six pack help passing. It's a power play goal for Terzinger. 1 0. Bulldogs on top. Let's go ahead. It's now a 2 0 lead. And Nelson, two more of his 19 saves on the night, but can't get the third one. Falcons make it a 2 1 hockey game. Later on, though, as we move ahead, it's 3 to 1. And the Bulldog offense really picks it up. Corey Kane snaps, or I should say, Mike. I think snaps a goal there for the Bulldogs. Later, a 3-1 lead. It is Corey Kane with the goal. And later in the third, they're really piling it on now. Ferris State, Aaron Schmidt. He's going to match his number five with a nice backhand or goal. Can the Bulldogs be beat? Not tonight. 5-1 the final. They are 10-0-3 in 2012.